Um, I see in the Fox News uh, headlines now, Obama's behaving again. He's, he's obeying his boss, and he's not being a bad boy. Um, it doesn't matter. The reason they, they plan to, to bring, they're going to bring Romney in because they they got to start a war. It's not so much that if they wanted Obama to start the war, they would, but the Republicans are supposed to be the warmongers. They play that role. And so they're going to start the war with uh, with Romney. Once Romney gets in, that's when we're going to go to war with Iraq, Iran. And uh, kill a whole bunch of American soldiers, but more importantly, we get to firebomb and white phosphorus uh, you know, several million Iraqi men, women, and children, and babies. And, um, that's going to be a lot of fun. And, and uh, the the J uh, arms dealers and uh, banksters are going to make tons of shekels off of this too, and it'll give it them more control over the that area and Israel has to be safe you know who cares about all the other countries in the world that are not safe of course the next Democrat that comes in after Romney will continue the war in Iran because that'll probably go on for 10 20 30 years unless real peacekeepers put a stop to it like they did with the Vietnam War, <laughs> two guys threatened to bar blow up that barge that was that dredge, which which would have blockaded the Vietnam War. That's all it took to end the Vietnam War is to blockade the, um, Hanoi. <laughs> but uh, the next Democrat comes because but but the Republicans are the ones that have to outwardly project the. That's the role they play. It's it's all role. They're actors. That's all they are. They just take orders and they. They, they give them a script, okay, this is what you read. It comes up on a teleprompter. They just say whatever's on the teleprompter. They do what they're told. They're, they're hand-picked. They don't, you know, they party the whole time they're in school or college. They, they look for psychopaths that will do whatever they're told as long as they're bribed good. They get, you know, sex, drugs, booze, money, and prestige as long as they do what they're told. And, they, and then they, they choose psychopaths because psychopaths don't have a problem with ordering, you know, our aircraft carriers to, you know, and Air Force and whatever to blow up women and children. Cause that, so they like to find a psychopath that they can control and bribe. And so every, virtually every politician fits that category. Okay, the stuff I just showed you yesterday, um, the stuff I ju you just saw I did yesterday, the 25th. Now, Today is the 26th, and now we got on Fox News, Abba Neba Job wants, wants New World Order, okay? Apparently, what he's afraid that he's going to get attacked, so he figures maybe if he kisses their butt and says he's going to go along with this New World Order thing, maybe they won't attack his country. Because he knows that's what they were planning to do. So maybe that's a an attempt of his to try to keep them from attacking him, keeping the U.S., which is the puppet of the New World Order, which is continuation of the Rothschild thing of the, should I say, the J domination of the world, which they already dominate, but they want to take it up a, a step further. Everybody's afraid to stand up to these people is the problem, you know, every... You know, you have so many cowards, and then there's so many people who just don't seem to care. You know, a lot of people. In fact, there's some people I think like being slaves. They like, they like bending over, you know, dropping their pants and bending over. I, I've said that before on numerous occasions. Of course, the thing with I'm an job could be all, all set up anyway, because there's indications that he's definitely, in, you know, going along with some of this stuff.